Hey guys, Jeff Ford, CTF coach in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, coming at you for the start of a new series, breaking down our philosophy of quality before quantity. Uh, this week we're going to focus on technique, and this is the most critical component that we start to first look at with our athletes. Um, so uh, with all sports, and we'll gear this more to triathlon and, and runners specifically in a second, uh, there is technique. Swimming, probably the most technical sport on the planet. There's a ton of technique. You have to get someone on you. You have to get video analysis. Biking, there is a proper way uh, to improve your pedal stroke, to be more efficient. A proper fit is very important. And then when it comes to running, you have to run with good posture. You have to fall from the ankles and you have to pull your feet from the ground versus push. These are common themes that you will see in elite runners uh, that lead to efficiency. Um, so our biggest reasons for focusing on technique first is so that our athletes don't get injured. We do not uh, want to start working with an athlete and then two weeks into this thing they get injured. So we start with a lot of pre-assessments, a run composition test, run mechanics analysis, and we really uh, put, put our athletes through a lot of baselines before we even start to prescribe a program. Um, when we think about runners, there should be no such thing as runner's knee, guys. The big five type injuries, uh, iltilio band syndrome, chondromalacia, that runner's knee I was talking about, lower back pain, uh, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, all of those issues are a result of technique. And that's why we spend so much time here uh, over the entire year of training and especially in the early beginning. Um, what we find is when we focus on technique, we see a ton less injury. Um, Check out these numbers, gang. 33,000 steps it takes for you to run a marathon. 90% of people training for a marathon will get injured over the course of a year. This is because no one knows about run technique and no one um, potentially cares enough to really focus on it. But it's not the uh, community's fault. Marketing has been out there. It's more just this understanding is no one knows what good run technique is. And that's what we provide for our athletes is to show them here are the positions and here's how we can improve them. Uh, the last reason behind changing technique is efficiency. So you have to be uh, very vigilant on uh, changing the form and link it to knowing that it's going to improve your performance as well and, and not only just prevent injury. Um, as far as this goes, go to your next marathon event or 10K and look at the fastest runners coming through. You're going to see they're going to be hitting these common positions with the foot underneath the hip, landing ball foot, and actually pulling, utilizing their larger muscle group, the hamstring, uh, towards the later end of the race. Uh, to give you guys a personal example, I used to train traditional training 40 to 60 miles a week. Uh, I remember going into a race with lower back pain, taking anti-inflammatories, and having my brother hand me cream while I'm in the middle of this, this marathon. Even showing up to this marathon, uh, five weeks out, I had not run because of an injury that was preventing me from running. Ended up running, you know, like a 309 type marathon. Uh, nothing, you know, special for my standards. But then when I finally looked at these things, looked hardcore at the technique, made the effort to change my technique, I'm now a 249 marathoner, injury free for about over two years now. So I tell you these things because it takes time like anything else. But as you focus on your technique in all your sports, you're not only going to get faster, but you're going to stay injury free and keep doing the things you love. Uh, my name is Jeff Ford, CTF coach uh, in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Uh, come check us out next week for uh, a breakdown on our second quality before quantity strength training.